Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this exclusive interview brought to you from ZNU Studios with Mr. Karol uh, Zaracek, President of Ursus Company Board from Poland, who is on a visit to Algeria to look into possible partnership deals. Mr. Karol will be uh, accompanied with Mr. Lukas uh, Witkowski, who is a consultant and an expert in uh, the Algerian market from Poland. Welcome to this studio. Thank you. So I will start with you, Mr. Carroll. I heard this is your first visit to uh, Algeria. So how do you like the country? Yeah, very much. I'm here from yesterday and I enjoy a lot here in Algeria. There is, uh, I see a lot of opportunities, good organized country and a lot of, lot of opportunities, but I need a little bit more time to know about every little aspect about doing business here. Okay, very good. So my first question to you would be, uh, can you just give us a brief introduction about Ursus uh, company? Yeah, it will be a pleasure. Ursus is one of the oldest uh, company in Poland and one of the oldest producers of agricultural machinery in the world. Uh, we have more than 120 years of experience in producing not only tractors, but also the other equipment for the farmers. Our company is uh, responsible for the process of mechanization of agriculture in Poland. Poland is the third biggest agriculture economy in the European Union. So it means that we are very well, uh, we are experts in, in machinery. And what we want to propose here is uh, about our strategy that we are uh, now uh, go going through. Uh, we started to develop our business in Africa from 2011. And we already established two factories in uh, one factory in, in Ethiopia. Uh, and one factor in Tanzania. Algeria is a very important uh, place for us to invest because we think that this is the gate for the North Africa. Uh, our brand is quite well known for the farmers here. We were been here very uh, present and very active in early 80s uh, in the previous century and now it's time to come back. Um, I know that uh, uh, Algerian government is uh, now pushing uh, uh, because of the situation with the, uh, with the prices of the oil, uh, crude oil, you are push pushing uh, to the de development of the agriculture. So we, he we see here the opportunities, that's the reason why I'm here. Okay, very good. So in my second question I would be addressing both of you gentlemen. So I'll start with Mr. Uh, Carroll. So what do you know about the Algerian market and what motivates you to start business in this country? Uh, what we know, we, we know that this is a very stable, politically stable uh, market and focus on agriculture. You have quite well developed uh, agriculture comparing to the other African markets. Uh, you are very well cooperating with uh, other countries in Europe like Spain, like France. So it means that uh, there is the space to uh, find the market for our machinery. What is advantage uh, of Ursus and Polish agriculture machineries that we we have very great experience and we have very low cost of production of these machines, but quality is European, European Union. So we think that uh, development of agriculture is uh, so fast in Algeria that you will need more satisfied uh, machinery soon here. And that's the right moment to start the investments here. Very good. So, Mr. Witkowski, you have uh, a larger experience in the Algerian market and you've lived here for quite a long time. So, what can you tell us about the Algerian market and what do you know about the aspects? Yes, uh, we, this is a market, uh, I explained to uh, the Polish partners that this is the place to be right in the world, let's say, uh, not as, uh, especially in Africa. Uh, as Mr. Carroll said, uh, this is of course true that this is a gate for the, especially, um, uh, countries of French-speaking uh, uh, ex-French colonies in Africa, for, first of all. Uh, but already the, uh, all the, mar the Algerian market is, uh, is a big market for agriculture. The problem actually in Algeria is the too big importations right now from abroad. And this we I was been talking with uh, with the uh, representative of the, of the high level here in politics in Algeria. Uh, some ministers also, and I have a clear vision what is really uh, needed for Algeria to develop the agriculture in general, also to develop other sectors, okay? So uh, we want to cooperate uh, and also companies such as great companies like Ursus is um, to be 
uh, working together with the government, also in the pri private sector, but following the, the strategy of Algerian, uh, of Algerian government, what is really needed. So, uh, first of all, to uh, the question of importation of goods, of, of agricultural, agricultural uh, goods, uh, ha it will be diminished uh, less now, okay? So, the production has to be uh, bigger, agricultural production has to be bigger in Algeria, and it has to be made somehow. So, uh, the, this, this sector needs machines, needs other also, uh, products from Poland, as Mr. Zarajczyk said, uh, Poland is a very powerful country uh, around the world uh, in this sector. So uh, we can bring you the knowledge, the machines, all the, the what is needed to have a good uh, and prosper um, uh, sector. So, so well, we, we are aware of this. And that's Algeria's orientation as well, because you know, amid the uh, current uh, industrial crisis, Algeria wants to. Uh, to boost its agriculture and uh, wants to bring the know-how from European and uh, other countries to, to boost our uh, agricultural sector. We, we have to, we have to uh, remember one thing also, the, the relations, the cooperation between Algeria and Poland, uh, they started many years ago already during the socialist time when uh, it was both countries were socialists. So many exchanges were there during this time uh, uh, between Algeria and Poland. Many people from Poland worked here uh, in the 80s, in the 70s, built the, the economy of Algeria at the time, at the time, for example, of Mr. Shadli Benjdid. Uh, there was 30,000 Polish uh, specialists who were working in Algeria. And still the Algerian, we meet the people from uh, Algeria, uh, important people now, they remember this cooperation. Then there was a little bit break uh, because we changed the system in Poland uh, from socialism to, to, to economy of the market. Uh, but now we have uh, the new government in Poland. So one of the uh, big, uh, let's say, targets for, for the government in the, the cooperation, we have the Ministry of Development and the cooperation. Uh, the ministry wants, the, one of the targets is Algeria. What is the priority, the cooperation with Algeria? Very good, thank you so much. So, my next question would be to you, Mr. Carroll. So, are you willing to invest and cooperate in the governmental sector or the private? So, do you have a knowledge about the government and the system and the way it goes for investment and, and the private sector? So, and w w what are you comfortable with? Uh, I'm bo comfortable in uh, both, uh, uh, both systems. Is, is, not the, is not the issue uh, what I prefer is the issue what uh, indeed uh, Algerian market prefers. The market demands. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the most important, this is the free market. So we, we also prefer the, the business, doing business with uh, governments because most of my investments in Africa is uh, I do with the, with the governments. For example, um, we established the factory in Ethiopia and in Tanzania together with the uh, governments. Uh, but I, I, what, I, what I realized that uh, Algerian market is slightly different. So I think that both possibilities uh, can be used. Uh, I think the better uh, to have bigger scale of the, of the start of the business is to go through the government uh, investment. But uh, I'm also interested to cooperate with strong Algerian private sector is, is, is the issue. I'm during the process of, of getting knowledge what solution, which solution is better. So it's too early to say what I will choose here. I think you're the right guy who will tell you about the best choice. And I, I, I am trying to explain what is the, the situation. In my opinion, Algeria now is at the moment when Poland was 25 years ago, when we passed from the socialist uh, situation to the economy of the market. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can really show you how to transform the economy. In general, I'm not talking only about the agriculture, uh, to transform the economy for the really uh, economy that exists in Europe. And even for us, we're looking forward to, to the future, not the past, and we, we're really re willing to bring back to the Polish to, to Algeria and to have more investments and have more relations, not just in the economic sector, but even in other sectors there as well. There is friendship. There is friendship between Algeria and Poland. It exists, and we have to base on it. It's, it's already a big thing. We haven't been a colonial, uh, co colonial country, Poland. We, we have been, uh, we are partners, 
Algeria and Poland are partners and there is this uh, really friendly uh, relation. It is very important also in the business. Very good. So, uh, Mr. Carroll, can you tell me what kind of deals are you planning to have? Like, uh, are you willing to have a branch of your company here to assemble uh, tractors as you do in other countries or you're just going to have provide the market with spare, uh, spare parts? So what is your, uh, your aim? My goal is uh, what you said in the first sentence is to open the assembling line here, like in uh, Tanzania, like in uh, <coughs> Ethiopia, because uh, there is a big advantage to have to be very close to the market. You can react to the market demand of market needs. You can update, upgrade your products to the uh, farmer needs. Uh, it's a lot of advantage to have assembling here. But also, uh, what is very important for me, tractor is a very uh, difficult product. To not all the parts of the tractor can be product here uh, produced here. But uh, slowly, step by step, we can we can create here the uh, suppliers chain. What is very important for me to have uh, local suppliers. And what is very very interesting for me also to create. Um, sales web that is uh, uh, reliable. It means that has products that is uh, uh, exactly what uh, Algerian farmers need, but also can provide the after sale service. So you cannot be good distributor or good uh, producer of the tractor present on the market from the abroad. The best solution to have he here the branch, have here the offices, have here the assembling line to create a supplier chain and to train the people, even in the future to create the R&D center that will develop the machinery that is uh, uh, good for uh, food production, food processing here, because every soil is different in the, the different parts of the world. So this is, this is how I feel the business and this is how we succeed in Ethiopia. Not all the products that are good and reliable in the Polish market can be adapted here. Yes, so that's, that's what I think. I think about the future. Simple selling the products is uh, not the goal because everyone can sell the product. Create additional value for the Algerian economy. This is my goal. So going back to tractors industry, you know that Algeria produces its own tractors. We have SMVI company and probably you should cooperate or have a collaboration contract with that company too. Yes, I think that uh, this is what, what uh, is very tempting for me because you already have such such project here. Uh, and, I, and I'm uh, really interested to coexist with this project. I don't want to be an uh, Algerian market. It's so big for every, that there is the place for everyone. So uh, this, is, this project is even more easier for me to, to fulfill uh, here than in uh, Ethiopia and Tanzania where we started from the greenfield. Here we have already uh, engineers or people that are aware about assembling the tractors. But this, is, this project, as far as I know, this is simple SKD project that the parts are coming from Brazil and you are a sem simple assembling here. My idea is uh, slightly different. I want to go deeper into production and create the uh, supply chain here in Algeria to parts for the tractor to be produced here in Algeria, not coming from abroad. Exactly. And only uh, this factory is using only the cheap uh, labor force here. So, okay. this is, this so your is plan is to produce here and even uh, export to other uh, African countries? Of course, of course, of course. but the, the key is to create the supplier chain here in, in Algeria, not to bring the parts from Poland and assembling uh, tractors here, is uh, to produce Algerian product for the region here. Very good. So speaking of investment, uh, are you comfortable with the investment rules here in Algeria? Take for example the rule 5194, uh, 49%. Honestly speaking, is a big disadvantage and it's a big obstacle for me as a foreign investor. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to find a partner who will, who will be uh, controlling all the business because if you have 51, you are controlling everything. Exactly. Yes. So uh, I am in the worst position and the for, as a foreign investor. So for me, it's a quite huge obstacle to start a business here. But I think if I find good partner, if I find a re reliable partner that will be very difficult thing because you have to know each other to trust each other yes uh, so i think this rule should be changed if uh, if algeria wants to 
bring the foreign investments inside this country, this, this is a big obstacle for foreign investors, as me. Okay. Mr. Lucas, yes. the, the rule 4951 always making the headlines. Yes. What do you think well, about it? Uh, as I could, we could uh, guess that the rule won't exist forever. Uh, you will have a new, new, some changes uh, normally, and uh, the government, Algerian government, I feel they they know that is not it is not attracting the very much the, the investors. So uh, in my, I hope uh, this rule will be modified or changed uh, in order to bring more uh, investors here in in, in Algeria. Okay, very good. So, can you tell me what kind of other investment or other products can uh, Poland bring to Algeria or what can Polish investors do in Algeria apart from tractors or energy fields? Yeah, uh, I can speak about my company because Ursus is a part of the big holding group that is active not only in agricultural machinery but also the automotive business, also in uh, touristic business. Uh, we have a uh, uh, we are running the hotels all around the Europe. We are also uh, present in the renewable sources of energy. Uh, about tourism, it's very, very interesting. Algeria became a very interesting uh, target of the touristic investment for the Polish uh, business because of the political situation in the neighborhood countries. Uh, Nor uh, North Africa is very popular. Uh, uh, among the Polish Polish uh, citizens for the holidays, Egypt was the number one um, destination for the holidays uh, in Poland. But uh, because of the political situation, uh, the Polish people resigned to go there. The same situation is in in uh, in Tunisia, and Polish tourists we we don't like to go to Spain to Italy to. Uh, to France, yes, it's uh, we prefer to go here, North and Africa. that's that's for me the new opportunity for investments because if we create the base for the uh, touristic attractions for the Polish Polish uh, tourist, we are 40 million citizens nations. So thank you so much. This is the big big and big big uh, possibility. Yes, Mr. Lucas, what do you think about tourism in Algeria? Uh, first of all, I'm, uh, I, we started with this uh, in 2014. Already I have uh, created here in Algeria, to, together with the, uh, the actual Minister of Tourism in Algeria, he was in Poland. We created the Chamber of Tur Polish Algerian Chamber of Com uh, Touristic Com uh, Chamber of Commerce. So uh, the relation in the tourism uh, started already a little bit. I have brought in, in 2014 uh, some groups of Polish journalists and Polish TV to, uh, to uh, show uh, on, in the media in Poland uh, this potential, it exists, this is huge, the potential of touristic potential of Algeria is 100 times bigger than in Tunisia or, or even bigger than in, in Morocco. And, uh, but it is, uh, it is really possible to make a uh, really great tourism here for Polish people who are really interested by this kind of destination. Thank you so much. So that was all the time for us today, ladies and gentlemen, with Mr. Karol uh, Zaracik, president of Ursus Company Board. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation and we hope to see you soon again in Algeria. For sure. And for sure. Mr. Lukas Witkowski, thank you so much for enjoying us in this Shukran. interview. Shukran. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and goodbye.